dun, 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 dun. Hey guys, it's Ben here for Escape the Echo Chamber with Neil's cat and Ben. And today on the Wombat Logs, we are in uh, Gladstone. We went and checked out like the free camp on the south side of uh, the river at Benarabi. So uh, we just had to come in and do some shopping in Gladstone, which we were actually just going to skip completely. Yeah, we come in to go to Coles and stuff instead of having to go to all the little uh, rip-off uh, small town shops because like man that'll cost you a fortune so this is our uh, barney point at gladstone it's like a really really industrial feel in town there's like um coal port and heaps of power stations and stuff and yeah it's not the most exciting place that's why we were going to skip over it. like over here this is like a coal loader and whatever and where they're loading the coal ships so we went and uh got some lures as well and we're going to see if we can catch any fish in the river up here so yeah, we'll have a quick look around here and then uh, we're gonna go and set up nice and early to beat all the old people. Well, look, that must be a coal boat there. And uh, there's this lookout. Oh, well, we're on the point here and uh, there's like the big rock here. It says that this uh, Francis Peter McCabe he was a surveyor and explorer. He like was the first person here on the 18th of June, 1853. And they come with 16 other men in his ship. So I don't know, he would have landed, well, he probably landed here if that's where they put the thing. So yeah, it's all uh, been here for a bit, Gladstone, which is a bit different. Most of the coastal towns, there wasn't really much going on until, you know, the last hundred years or so. Like 1770, there wasn't even people there till like the 80s and stuff. So. This is like right up on the end of the point here. It says the first official residence in North Australia was erected on this spot. Uh, installed first government resident, police magistrate and commissioner of Crown Lands. Yeah, wow. And it was unveiled by Sir Charles Fitzroy. I guess uh, that's who they named the Fitzroy River after. So yeah. And like what a mad spot like so all this park would have been like the grounds for the house back in the day would have been a lot cooler before they built all the coal stuff over there yeah so this sign here out on Barney Point talks about how um, they tried to start like a colony in North Australia well they did and, it, and then it, it only lasted a little bit and the next guy who like moved in he uh he renounced it because he thought well it's not worthwhile like why settle land here when we can just go to Tasmania apparently <laughs> so yeah um Colonel Barney apparently that's who the point's named after he uh he was trying to establish a colony in North Australia yeah I never heard that one before eh yeah. so uh yeah <laughs> Look up Colonel Barney and his colony. So yeah, that's Barney Point at Gladstone. It's uh, half nice. It's kind of like um, industrial with Sundays. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So we've uh, left Gladstone and gone back south down the highway, which is uh, actually right behind me there and uh we've parked up at the free camp just up behind me on calliope river and uh here i am trying to catch some barramundi or some river monsters uh when we first got down to the river there was like a massive splash and then like something stuck its head up i got no idea what uh or like it really looked like a sea turtle to me like a loggerhead or a green turtle or something but like as far as I can tell, like the water here is probably fresh and like there's like rapids here and the water's like running downhill down these bits of rapids behind me. So like if, if sea turtles are coming into here, this this bridge is like their very limit anyway. Because uh, once you get past here, like I, I'm guessing that's all fresh. Oh, there was a massive splash just behind me here, right there. Um, I've, I've kind of got to put my phone down and, and have a cast at it.
Ah, there's another big splash to Cerro. Oh, go on, and another. Hey, oh, the fish are going off. Man, there's probably something big chasing them. Alright, so I think the big splashes were mullet. I still haven't really had a bite or nothing. I've just been like throwing in front of this like bit of rapids across here behind me. And like, but just like straight out across here behind me, there's just been mullet jumping the whole time, like big mullet too, about like 40 centimeters, I reckon. So, uh, yeah. We're going to head back soon and uh, go and cook dinner and uh, tomorrow we're going to check out Turkey Beach and uh, more fishing hopefully, get some river monsters. Alright, so here we are all set up in the wombat there and uh, at our campsite but uh, check this one here out. Whoa. And there's another really big flash one over here too, eh? that guy over there, they're monster things. So, uh, but yeah, we're gonna go and uh, check out the sunset over the river. The moon's out there too. Here's the sunset over the Calliope River down there. Wow, the colors through the trees are so cool, eh? I have to be quiet now. It's like after quarter past five, all the old people are getting ready for bed. Oh man, it's such a monster. Mm. Wow. This Hilux too, eh? We ummed and ahed about Hiluxes a lot when we bought the Wombat, but like, we never saw one that was that long or that cool looking. Like, yeah, I, I could have dealt with that. Although the Merc's pretty good, like, I'd hate to think how that thing would go up hills uh, when the Mercedes struggles a little bit. <laughs> uh, I might have been saying um, Calliope River, but it's the Bourne River. Boyne. Boyne River, yeah, okay. Calliope River's like further north. So yeah, that's all we've got time for on this episode of Escape the Echo Chamber with Neil's cat and Ben. And uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to Turkey Beach, but uh, you never know because we just do whatever we want. So uh, yeah, we will see you then. Oh yeah, the toilets here suck. Oh, they do have drink and water taps, but you just can't like connect your hose to them because they don't have like the hose end on them. Make sure you bring water. Dun, 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 dun.